interesting, and I think he's he's got some interesting things to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's funny because along the way, when I think about like you know the friendships and, and and certainly the public sort of friendships that you've had with people like Axl Rose and Eminem and Robbie Williams and these yeah. people that at certain points in their lives have been at crossroads of public opinion, yeah. um, you know. It, it, there's a bit of a thread to that, and it seems that you sort of come in and say, "Look, you know, I understand that there's perspective here, and you seem yeah, to I'm, I'm always a supporter of the people that are getting trashed, and you know, you know, for me, Eminem was never homophobic. I mean, I listened to the whole of the Marshall Mathers album when I drove to a show in Southampton, mm. and I was floored by it. And I thought, how did anyone think this is? You know, he's just writing about the way things are, not how he thinks, but the way things are. And the same with Axel. Never in a million years did I think it's homophobic. So I did things. I did. Uh, the MTV Music Awards with him mm -hmm. and the Guns N' Roses and I did the Grammys with Marshall mm. and I became very big friends with Marshall. Mm. Um, I'll fight for anyone who is misunderstood and misrepresented by the idiots out there. And you seem to be very, um, art, you know, you're a, a very loyal to the art as well, which I really yeah. love. It's like you're able to, to, to identify things according to your own moral compass, Yeah, but it never really gets in the way of the art. Like you kind of put, the, you're able to see art for what it is. Yeah, absolutely. And um, not only just music, but visual art, theater, writing, mm. everything. It's just a whole, you know, I surround myself, I'm very lucky enough to be affluent enough to buy 